Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Um, it's been a while since I've come on and done a video. I'm going to try to do one here for you today. And what this is going to be is it's going to be some special pieces that I have. Um, pretty much a showcase video. Um, just to show you some some of my favorite things that I have in my collection. And um, I'm not going to make it a long video. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of content. So, anyway. Now, um, please share the video. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the bell in case you'd like to be notified when I do upload a new video. Um, and of course, do the thumbs up, the like to the video. It really helps keep us in the... Um, you know, we get more views if people hit the like button. And that always helps the channel a little bit. Okay. Um, at the end of the video, um, you will see um, a round circle with a um, crystal heart in it. If you click on that, it will subscribe you to the channel. But you can always hit the subscribe channel anytime you want. Okay. Um, and there's always a video there for you to turn around and watch if you want to go to another one of my videos. So with that being said, let's get started and show some jewelry. And there's a couple pieces in here that, um, like this one here in particular, I want somebody's thoughts on it. It's a very, very old piece. And um, I just want some thoughts on some of them. So we'll start with what I have out here. I have two brass bangles, and um, I have this one. This is a heavy sucker. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite bangles. I just like the way it fits on the wrist. It doesn't move around a lot because of the weight. So I think it's a very, very pretty piece. All right, I have this on my wrist, which is all woven seed beads with pieces of um, mother of pearl and shell here. And it's held on with Velcro. I figured I'd show you that in case you were wondering what that might be. All right, and then I have this one. This is a lighter, but it is brass. Okay, it's much lighter in weight, but it's very pretty. It has really a lot of nice... Um, if you're looking at this, a lot of really nice uh, designs that is in this. It's in beautiful shape. And it is brass. Most of the time when you find uh, ones like this, they tend to be another metal and not brass. But this one is definitely brass. So it's very pretty. All right, let's get into this bag. I'm probably not going to do this whole bag. I want to keep this video short so I can do another one. Let's move this out of the way. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have. Everything on this is sterling. And everything is stone. And the real deal, it's a combination of beads and some chips. There's oyster in here. There's real turquoise in here. Um, just a whole bunch of lot, really nice, 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 nice pieces. Give you an idea how this looks. You can see th these are very heavy bell caps. And then it has the, um, uh, the sterling silver chain and lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. I just wanted to show you some of these pieces. These are some of the ones that, um, they, you know, when you, when you find something, they kind of reach out to you. And I'm just showing you a few of the pieces that reach out to me.
All right, I have a really beautiful brooch here. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see this very close up. It's all um, an emerald green color, prong set rhinestones with all the rhinestones. It's oval. In between this is what the back looks like. And it's really pretty. It's an, it's an absolutely beautiful shape. And believe it or not, this little tiny pin is quite heavy. Really beautiful. You can see that on here. I can't believe the weight that's on this. Okay, I want to get that other bracelet out if I can so I can show you that. This one I don't have in a bag. Now, this is very old. I found this and it's all silver. I'm not sure what these are. None of it's magnetic. There's some kind of material in here in red. All right, this looks like somebody put this together. But take a look at this as far as if you can see the age on this. This thing was black. You couldn't tell um, what was what colors were different. I did not put this in a sonic cleaner because I don't know what this material is beyond here. All right, and I didn't want to ruin it. I just took in order to clean this the best way I could. Um, is I took a um, Q-tip with uh, some Simicrone some polish and um, just worked it through all the chain and, and these little by little. And then I wiped it all down with, um, <coughs> excuse me, a baby wipe. And then I, I um, cleaned it all up. But it took a few times in order to look like this. This is one piece I should have taken a picture of what it looked like beforehand. Because I almost put this in the trash. Because it was just, I, I mean, it, you couldn't really tell what it was. And it actually turned out to be a beautiful piece. So if anybody has any ideas on this, it weighs a ton, okay? This is the clasp. Now, I didn't find it marked anywhere, but it's tested sil sil silver. So, let me know if you have any clue what this possibly could be. I I'm wondering if it's just something that somebody took and put together. Regardless, it's very old. And it turned out to be a very beautiful piece. Okay. <coughs> we have another brooch here. This is a little different. This is a round brooch. It has a combination of um, bright and then stamped. This is the back. It has um, a cup here with a ball in it that's coming over and across. This is heavy. I don't know. It's very detailed, the filigree on this part. I don't think that it's really, really, really old. Let me grab my glasses. But it's well made, and um, it's actually very pretty. You can see what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so we have that. I'm almost to the end of this set of treatments, so I'm kind of happy about that. And uh, But now the other work begins. Um, I have a whole bunch of tests scheduled. And then once we get back with all those tests, then I'll have my surgery and then continue on with my uh, protein infusions for the next year along with some radiation. I don't know yet how, how many treatments of that I'm going to have to have, but we're coming into, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be the least amount possible. I have, um, I actually have some plugs on my head. So, okay, this is a very pretty necklace. Um, it was different. That is why I kept it out. I can't tell you that it's anything really special. It has an absolutely beautiful piece of agate. It's matte on this side, and it's polished on this side. It's got a really nice, slinky, sexy chain. Not so big that it takes away from the pendant. Okay, and then it's got this really nifty chain, which is quite long. This is very beautiful. Okay. Hope you enjoy me doing a little showcase of some of my favorite items. I have to get caught up on everything from the last videos which I will do once I'm finished with my last treatment. Okay, now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of jewelry. And this here is signed, but I'm not going to go through the, the details. It's got a nice tag on it. It's really beautiful. I will show you this nice pearl. And then these aren't a, a complete match, but um, I can wear these together because they're so similar and they're so pretty. You put these down here. These are earrings. These are gorgeous. These are like a star on the top. And these actually turned out to be almost the same size. These might be a little bit bigger. But these are in beautiful, perfect shape. Gorgeous earrings. And I think that they do go very nice with this necklace. This is one of my dress-up pieces. It's simple but elegant. And you can take... Um, a dress that's really not anything that spectacular and add something like this to it and uh, there you go you have a nice look so let me show you this let me see if there's anything on the back no but it's on the tag whatever it is and I can't remember right now this is all rhinestones here this here and bone chain. I wish I could see. Let me see if I can see with this. Oh. This is by all occasions. So if anybody knows anything about this company or this manufacturer, please let me know. Okay.
we'll do a couple more and then I'll do some more do another video I still have a big bag of both all over here to do for you guys all right Now I have a nice heavy duty um, curve chain here. Beautiful. And this is um, an older Napier. Okay, it's got the old signature. This is beautiful. Look at this. It's wide. It's just gorgeous. There's no um, wear if you look in the inside. I don't think this was ever on anybody's body. There's none of the plating of any sort is coming off of this. So these are the type of pieces that I will only wear, you know, like occasionally if I'm going out, you know, for like maybe a couple of hours because I want to keep it nice. It's a good piece. Okay, I have another little brooch. This is very nice. Now, I'm not sure. I would imagine it probably goes like this. Very pretty, pretty brooch. None of the stones on this are dead very pretty has the old style for your um pin so it's not a new piece i think somebody bought this many years ago and put it in something and just kept it really really good because it's it's very pretty nice brooch all right we'll do two more Oh, by the way, I'm not sure who sent it to me, but I received a nice bag of chocolate, another bag. This one was a um, little smaller sizes of Mounds, Kit Kats, Hershey's chocolate, and um, oh, what's the mint with the door? Everything was dark chocolate, so it was very nice. Whoever sent it, none of you put your name in there and let me know when something comes. So I have no idea. I kind of try to guess, and this time I was wrong. So, okay, I have this really pretty crystal necklace. This is really, really nice. These are nice Austrian crystals with an Aurora Borealis finish on them. These are lead crystal. All right. And uh, it's a heavy piece. And this is an older piece. It's got the chain with the hook so you can take and put your little hook on here once you get it on. Easy on, easy off. And I like this. It's one strand and it graduates. So you don't have these great big huge humongous beads up around your neck that are digging into your neck. These are nice and soft, small. And you got probably two inches of play. You can make this into a choker or all the way through to um, uh, one that'll come down on your collar. So, what do you think? Pretty? Look at that sparkle and shine on this. Is that gorgeous or what? Okay. Let me see here. Get two out. Oh, I got another, got a little bracelet, and then I got a really sweet pin I want to show you. And we'll close with that. Okay, this one here, it's really pretty. 
This is a Sikorsky. All right. And this one here is signed right here. And this has one that's a dangle on here, which you don't see too often. All right. Look at this. Okay, so that's the way it looks, and they're black and the clear, and it has um, spring ring, very pretty. Okay, we'll put that away. And the last piece I'm going to show you in this video is going to be this cute little magical brooch that I absolutely love. This is um, supposed to be, I think, Aladdin. And because there's a lamp and he's got his hands on the bottom of the ramp. I mean, the ramp, the lamp. Um, I th yeah, this is signed. I think this is um, yes. This is Jewelerama. Um, this I'm not sure what this is, but it's got a holog holog holographic effect in in here. Let me see if I put that up close. Actually, it's not a, a, a new one. Can you see all the different colors in there? It's really interesting. The pin sticks out quite far, so I don't think that it's a, a, um, a really new pin. Um, but it's a nice pin. Okay, so that's what I have in this video. At least this will give you some content. And um, I want to get this loaded up. And once I get it loaded up, then I'll try to do another video with... Uh, some stuff so something ready that I can I can give you in a couple of days so again everybody thank you so much for coming in and watching this video I totally appreciate it I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of some of my things that are in my jewelry box that I have for myself you know sometimes I just sit down and I I open the boxes up. I have a few different boxes. I open them up and I just go through them and look at all the things that I have. And sometimes I will decide after I've enjoyed a piece for a while, I will sell it. So um, anyway, oh, and don't forget to let me know what you think about this. Okay, if anybody's on there and they see this, this is a very special piece. It's beautiful. Okay, so don't forget thumbs up. Please like the video, share the video, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. You can start subscribe right from this page. We're at the very end of the video. That little circle will come up, and you can click on that, and it'll subscribe you to the channel. I want to thank everybody for the continued support, continued understanding, and um, all the love that you guys send me. And... Uh, I will see you soon. I appreciate each and every one of you. And no, I have not forgotten about a giveaway. Once I get through all of this stuff, with this, you know, the, the, the remainder of these treatments, my testing, my surgery, I'm going to do one heck of a giveaway for everybody. So uh, I have lots to give away. I will turn around and try to make uh, a nice... We're getting near 300, so hopefully somewhere between 300 and 350. We'll see what happens. But I want to feel better because I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to ship everything out. Okay, it's not that easy. I don't go out of the house, and um, I have to depend on people to do stuff for me. 
So anyway, I want you all to take care of yourselves. I want you to um, stay happy, healthy, and uh, take care of yourselves is the main thing. I love all you guys, and I appreciate all you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.